What if you could turn your website and all of those PDF documents, manuals, guides, uh, ebooks, and reports into a helpful chatbot? Imagine asking questions and getting instant answers directly from your website, your documents, or any ebook. Well, guess what? I found a way to do this in less than 10 minutes. In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to build your own AI chatbot with custom knowledge base without any coding skills. You can do this for your business or other businesses and start making money. By the end of this tutorial video, not only you'll be able to create a chatbot and train your AI based on your own data using PDF, HTML, TXT, CSV, Word documents, and PowerPoint presentation files, but also integrate the chatbot into your website, Facebook Messenger, Slack, Discord, or Telegram. In this video, you'll learn how to create a data store agent, how to add unstructured data to your data agent's data store, how to enable voice and chat experiences for your agent, how to test agent and simulate customer questions, how to view conversation history and analytics for your agent, all of that in about 10 minutes. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so before we start, let me show you the document that we'll be using as the data source. This is budget of the US government and it's 188 pages long. So to get started, we'll go to cloud.google.com, uh, log in with your account and click on console. From the console, click search for agent builder, click on agent builder. Before creating a new app, make sure that the Vertex AI API and the Dialog Flow APIs are enabled. If they're not enabled, you'll get a prompt and then you can enable it on the screen. S select chat and provide the company name, provide the agent name, click continue. We'll create a data store. This is where we can create a data store. Click on create data store. You get three options here. You can provide a website URL and it will automatically crawl website content from a list of domains that you defined. You can provide the data from your storage bucket or you can import data manually by calling the API. I'll select the cloud storage and um, you can import a folder or you can import a file. I'll select file and hit browse. I created this bucket earlier where I uploaded that PDF document that I showed you. Uh, I've already uploaded, uploaded it, um, but uh, for your case, you can upload any document to your uh, cloud storage and you'll be able to select it from here. Click select. So PDF, HTML, text files, CSV, uh, Word document and presentation files fall under the unstructured documents. Now you can use that as the data source or you can use json l for unstructured documents with metadata information you can click on this link for more information or you can use csv file for structured um, frequently asked data this is only for chat but for our example we're going to be using the unstructured document click on continue i'm going to name the data store us um, budget 2025 25 and click on create it's going to create the data store okay so it created a data store I, I will select the data store and click on create okay so the data store has been created over here i can click on over um, on this link uh, to see more information um, on this screen, I can see the activity and I need to make sure that data has been imported successfully without any errors. And we are using the digital parser. Now we can hit, um, preview to see the preview. Uh, now we'll test our agent. Uh, testing is an important part of working with conversational agents to find bugs, identify limitations, and simulate a customer experience. You can start an interactive session with your chatbot to see how it responds to various questions that a customer might ask. 
click on the test agent link at the top right hand corner. Um, this is where we can uh, test the chatbot. We can write hello. And we have more control over customizing the response of the agent from the screen. Um, we can enable logging um, by going here and checking this enable conversational history. By checking this box, uh, we will have get the conversation history. Uh, let's suppose we put this on our website and people interact with our chatbot. And if you want to be able to see those interactions, you need to check this box and hit save. We'll click on manage, click on integration. Let me show you a very cool thing. Uh, you can add a phone gateway to your bot, which will make use of speech to text and text to speech capabilities in the Google Cloud. You can hit on this manage uh, button to enable that feature. But for now, I'm happy with the text uh, chatbot and text based. I can click on connect. We can enable this unauthenticated API, which means that it will allow people without authentication to interact with the chatbot. And I'll click on enable an authenticated API. This is the code that you can use to put on your website and you'll get the chatbot on your website. So to see how it would look like, click on try it now and you get this, um, you get this icon at the bottom uh, right hand corner. So you click on this and this is the chat box that you you can put on your website. What are president's top priorities for year 2025? The chat bot read the document and responded with President stop economic parity is lowering cost for American families. The administration is working to bring down the uh, prescription drug cost, health insurance premiums, utility bills, and costs for everyday goods, all while taking on junk fees that some airlines, banks, and other companies use to rebuff Americans. It also is grounded the data. And if I click on this link, it will show me exactly where it found that information from. And as you can see, it's on page nine. And this is where the chatbot found that information is lowering costs for hardworking Americans. The administration is working to bring down prescription drug costs, health insurance. We are, we are grounding it with our own data source. So let me ask it another question. Let me ask, what has president invested in? The president has invested in America and the American people by signing into law historic legislation such as the American Rescue Plan, the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, the CHIPS uh, and Science Act and the Inflation Reduction Act. Let me ask yet another question like, um, what are some of the accomplishments of the Biden administration? The Biden administration has made historic investments in mental health care, including nearly $1 billion to support the 988 suicide and crisis lifeline. The administration is also committed to investing in training more mental health professionals and has expanded certified community behavioral health clinics nationwide. When testing your virtual agent, if you find that your bot's answers do not meet your expectations, you can always add more URLs to the data source to improve how your bot handles questions and answers. You can add more URLs, you can add more documents. Uh, other than testing many different paths the customer might make, how else can you determine where the problem and friction points are in your virtual agent? Uh, conversation history and analytics help. Uh, so we enabled, I showed you where you can enable that uh, conversation history uh, under the agents. I already enabled that. And to get to that conversation history, you can click on conversation history. And this is where you're going to see the conversation history. And I can click on any of these uh, and it will show me uh, my interaction with uh, the chatbot. Uh, I've asked, uh, it's, it's going to show the history of my conversation. And once you put that on your website and you would be able to see the interaction of your chatbot with your visitors, website visitors. Congratulations. Using the Vertex AI conversation in Dialogflow CX, you have successfully created a data store agent. Your virtual agent can answer hundreds of different questions about your website or any document, PDF manual, guides, ebooks, and reports, etc., that you may have. 
you don't have to go through the manual process of creating a large number of intense training phrases, response messages. We literally created this in less than 10 minutes. This video was requested in the comment section by a few of my subscribers. I read all of the comments and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, feel free to share your ideas for upcoming videos. If you don't have any questions or feedback, you can support my work by just typing coding money in the comment section. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms. If you found this video useful, a thumbs up would be highly appreciated. Stay tuned for exciting new videos. To ensure you don't miss out, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon. You may also want to check out the video that pops up on the screen somewhere. Until next time, Thank you for watching.